YouTube, Curry6693 here. Here to bring you gaming, anime news, as well as anything that I find interesting. Um, you know, I've been playing Resident Evil 4 a whole lot lately. Resident Evil 4, 5, and a little bit of 6. Um, I, I, I beat Resident Evil 4. I finally bought it. It was on sale a couple, like a month ago on, Mar on the Xbox Marketplace for like $10. I got it because I had never played it before. And I heard that everyone told me that that was the best one. And I started playing it, and I and man, I, it took me a while to get used to the controls and just like the, the, the old the old school feel of it. But once I got into it and I started playing it more and more, I found myself playing it for like entire days at a time, you know. And I'll be kind of honest, like they were right. Resident Evil Four is truly the best one. Um, it's the best one they've made so far. Now, don't get me wrong; there are things about it. There are things about the the, the future installments that I do like more. Um, like, for instance, like in Resident Evil 6, I think Resident Evil 6 has the best controls. Um, like, I mean, you can dodge, you can roll, you can jump on into ground position, you can shoot while running, you can... You, you, there's, like, there's, like, a lot of cool, like, um... I guess they say that the, the controls for Resident, Evil 6, uh, for Resident Evil 6 are more action-oriented. Um, but in my opinion, I really like those controls. They, they feel fluid and they feel appropriate. You know, they feel like the next step. Um... Of, of the controls of, of the Resident Evil franchise. Um, and I think 5 had really good graphics at the time. Oh my gosh. Because there are some shots in Resident Evil 5 where I'm just like, is this, is this a video game? Um, especially some of the scenery and some, especially like the opening scene with Chris Redfield and he's driving in the car and you kind of see the Sahara Desert, the African Desert, and you see him kind of driving, uh, to, uh, coming down the road. And like the, fir the first time you see that shot, I was kind of like, wow, that's a, that, this is a game. You know, um, so it, it, you know, the games look great in my opinion. Um, but, uh, but as we all know, Resident Evil 5 and 6 had to win a, a little bit of a downhill slope. Um, I feel like Resident Evil 5, the biggest problem with Resident Evil 5, for me personally, is especially going back and playing it, I felt like uh, too much of it took place, well, the first thing first, too much of it took place in the daytime. I felt like the, I felt like it improved a lot on graphics, on like, on like quick time events, um, and dollar, and, and like, you know, co-op and like your co-op partner being much more resourceful. The, uh, the, the part that I would say it fell off on was atmosphere. I think the biggest thing in Resident Evil 5 was missing was atmosphere. It... Especially like the the opening scene with the African village was fine, but I think it would have been better if the entire first chapter of the game took place at night. Um, and not saying that only nighttime cities are creepy, but it didn't feel it it, it it didn't feel it didn't capture what I what I was expecting. Oh, uh, I guess and the thing is I played through it so many times. Um, I have like infinite rocket launchers, infinite handgun, revolver, machine. I have like infinite everything. So I played the game so many times. That I guess it doesn't affect me anymore, but even still, I miss that creepy atmosphere that was captured in four, especially at the very beginning when you don't know what you're doing. You're like, oh my god, there are all these zombies that can kill me in like three hits. You know, I can't get near them. I didn't feel that in Resident Evil Five. I really didn't. I, I didn't feel that sense of urgency, that sense of I have got to somehow survive. I, I was missing that in Resident Evil Five. Everything else was fine. I felt like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought the story was okay. Um, I, I like how it had it tried to have different environments um, in different, like, different parts of the game, like different bosses. I like that. Um, it, it didn't recycle bosses like, uh, like Resident Evil 6 does. Um, you know, I mean, you fight Wesker more than once, but that really, that doesn't really count. Because that's like at the end of the game. And, and, and even every time you fight him, you do something different, is what I like. Um... Right, and it keeps and it keeps it fresh, um, uh, and I and I'll get to what I hate, what I don't like about Resident Six in a little bit, but Resident Five, I think I think my opinion got everything right. It just didn't get the atmosphere right. Uh, I felt like the martial arts, the the choreography with like Jill and then uh, Whisker was excellent. I'm, I mean, I could, I mean, like the movie. I know they Resident Evil Afterlife, the fourth movie of the franchise. They copied the choreography from the from Resident Evil Five, the game. And go like if you watch the movie and then watch the game, you are like, wow, the movie does it so much lazier. Like if, if that's the real quick what you said. Like it's much more lazy in in the movie. Like look at it like 
it's it doesn't even compare um, to to the game at all. Honestly, uh, I was when I first saw the movie, I was expecting so much more uh, out of that fight scene. Um, but uh, I thought I think everything in Resident Evil was fine. It was better. It was just missing atmosphere. If it had atmosphere, I think it would have been tons better. Um, but that, that, that's my little mini rant about Resident Evil 5. But uh, like I say, it's not, it's not a terrible game. Like, everyone says it's Resident Evil 5 and 6. Like, I don't think Resident Evil 5 says I, I think I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty good. It just could be better. It just could have been a lot better as far as atmosphere. I think as far as, like, I thought the controls feel more fluid. They feel more, they feel a little more responsive. Um, you know, great graphics, a great story. Presentation is there. It's just the atmosphere. It just can't, it lost it. Um, in in the daytime settings and just in general, um, I, I didn't I didn't feel threatened by many of the uh, zombies. Like I said before, like I mean, I, I can play through the I can clear the game in like two days with my with my rocket launchers, but um, but even still though, like I don't feel a, a sense of urgency like I used to. Especially like Resident Evil Four, like I was scared I was scared of zombies throughout that game. Like I was scared to face zombies. Um, Resident Evil Four is like the shit. Um, and it's hard too. It's, it's it's very hard in some sections, and it never gives you enough ammo to where you feel satisfied. You always feel like, man, I can have a little bit more of this. I can have a little bit more of that. Um, but that's how that's how the game was supposed to play. It's supposed to give you uh, just enough ammo to where you have to use it wisely. Like, don't just spray handgun bullets. Aim for the head. You know, with with my shotgun, what I do is I don't aim for the torso, I aim for the head because shotgun. If you shoot somebody point blank with a shotgun, it usually, it usually takes their head off. Um, and and um, and I and I usually do that, like to to, to make sure you use your your uh, shotgun um, effectively. Um, that's why that's what I learned. Basically, tr try to go for headshots pretty much when you can. Um, and and one thing I've learned version four is if is that if you if you if you know you can't do the fight, don't do the fight. Run. Because uh, there are plenty of times, there are plenty of enemies that I've went completely past, you know, and saved myself a lot of time. Especially later on in the Resident Evil 4, because this is one part we had to face, like, these blue zombies, like, these blue monsters um, in this, like, this little science area close to, on the island part of the game. And they take forever to kill. So what I do, I just run past them. I don't even bother fighting them. But, um, but yeah, but like, but like I was saying, just going through the Resident Evil games, like, Resident Evil 6... Uh, I think Resident Evil 6, in my opinion, is definitely where it started to increase. Um, like I said, they, they could have bounced back from 5, but they really, they really went down in 6. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some good things about 6. I like how, well, the game, there's a lot to the game. There's a lot of content to the game. There, like, it takes like 4 hours or 4 to 5 hours to beat one campaign. And there's like 4 campaigns in all. And so it, it could take you easily to six, 16, 17, 18 hours, maybe even 20 hours to beat the campaign. It took me about 16 or 17 to beat it my first time. And that, and that's that's pretty lengthy. Because, uh, I mean, there are a lot of short games. I remember games back in the old days used to maybe hit maybe 8, 10 hours. Now, you I mean, like, Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 6 can easily hit 15 hours. I mean, it took me... It took, it took me about 20 hours to be Resident Evil 4. Uh, but that was because I, I really took my time. Um... What was I going to say? But yeah, like Resident Evil 6, I mean, like I say, it, it, it has a lot of content. Um, I like I like how they try to do different things uh, with each campaign. Like, it, it, all the campaigns were the same thing. That's fine. But I felt like the way they handled it in 6 was really bad. Because, okay, Chris's campaign, Chris and uh, Pierce... Their campaign felt like a Call of Duty slash Gears of War campaign. It was pretty much just like straight Call of Duty. It wasn't like, in my opinion, Resident Evil games. I don't care how. I don't care if you want it more action based or more horror based. It needs to maintain a suspenseful and a thrilling atmosphere. Resident Evil Six com completely loses it. Even in even in Leon's campaign, I'll get that later though. But um, like Chris's campaign, it felt like a Call of Duty slash Gears of War. Um, it just felt like, you, it, honestly, the enemies could have been human and it would have made any difference. Except, I guess, the zombies can take more bullets or something, I, I don't know. Um, like, it would have really made any difference. Like, it, 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 didn't, it, it didn't even feel like zombies or even B.O.W.s, whatever. It just, it just felt, it felt like a shooting spree. And the, and, and the, the last boss takes fucking forever to kill. And, there, and I ran out of ammo on the last boss. And I, it literally took me two hours of just running around trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to do 
trying to kill this boss before I actually killed it. I hate that boss. Um, and that, and, that, and I'll get to that, and I'll get to boss in a little bit too. Um, but yeah, his campaign felt like a Call of Duty Star Gears of War. Um, Le okay, you had Leon's campaign. Which they tried to have this classic horror uh, feel in his campaign, but it only lasted up to like the, the first three chapters. After you, once you go back to China or wherever you go back to, once you go back to the city with everybody else, um, it pretty much goes back down to just action. And it's pretty much like you just fighting Simmons the entire time. And oh my god, Simmons. He is the most annoying boss. Another big thing that I don't like. Well, yeah, I was going to say, no, one, another thing I, I really don't like about the Resident Evil 6 um, bosses is they are bullet sponges. They take forever to kill. Like, it took me, when I was playing Ada's campaign, and I was uh, in a helicopter, and I was shooting, uh, helping Leon and Hel uh, uh, Helen, whatever her name is, uh, fight Simmons, the dinosaur Simmons, with that big uh, stadium thing, whatever. It took literally like an hour of just shooting at it, just constantly shooting at it. It took ages and I mean ages to um to, to beat Simmons. Like it took forever. And it took too long. I don't care how I don't care how tough a boss is supposed to be. It's not supposed to take that long to be the boss. Not not uh, no. It took forever of just spraying bullets. Um and you face him like four different times in like four different forms and it gets annoying. It's not it's it feels like more of a chore, honestly, than like fun. Um it it just feels like more of a chore. Like it really does. Even though they tried to have like different boss battles and you face them different ways, it just felt like more of a chore at the end of the day. Um, and so, my opinion, Leon's campaign is only good for like the first three chapters. Um, after that, you guess whatever. Um, and even then, even then, it could have been a lot better. Like I, I like my favorite chapter of Leon is the first one with the with the with the college campus and the uh and you with the other survivors you know trying to get out of town like that type of resident evil is what i like i like it when like you what i want to like you're surrounded by zombies you don't know what the hell you're gonna do and you and you meet up with a couple of people and you and you're trying to figure out what the hell you're gonna do you got you gotta eat back or whatever like that like this survival feel like we gotta find a way to survive you know, move to the next uh, uh, ev evacuation place, or or I hear there's no zombies up in this area. We're gonna go here, like that type of stuff. I like I like that survival element of Resident Evil, um, and I feel like it was it, it was all but lost in uh, Resident Evil Six. I mean, you have Jake Jake and Ada's campaign. Ada's campaign. I'll get to in a second. Jay, okay, Jake's campaign. Like it kind of felt like I don't know how to explain his. His just kind of felt in the middle, in like a gray area. His, to me, felt like a little bit of action, a little bit of survival, or it was really just, yeah. Like, I, I one, one thing that I did like about his campaign was the, uh, the Usanok. Um, even though I felt like he just didn't know how to die, um, I did like how they had uh, an enemy that was, you know, it, it made you, there were some parts where I was like, oh my god, this thing is huge, this thing is big. Oh, like, like there was one part um, when you're in the cave and you're having to shut the doors behind the Usanok and then you have to open up the other one, you have to uh, turn the cranks and then close the door behind you, then turn the cranks and he's right behind you. Like, that, like, that type of stuff is great because it's showing you, like, you're trying to get away from this thing and it's like, and it's like right behind you. Like, stuff like that is what I like. Um, I thought, I thought that was very well done. Um, um, but like I said, I mean, I guess Jake's campaign is okay. Um, but just overall, like, uh, Ava's campaign, it, uh, they tried to make it more of like the clever behind the scenes campaign. Um, like a build, there's a lot of puzzles in hers. Um, none of them were too difficult though. Um, but what was I going to say? But, um, uh, but yeah, like, I mean, hers was okay too, but even still, it just, it just wasn't the same. Um, one thing that I did like about her campaign was that it explained a lot, like, a lot of things you were like, wait, oh, so that's what that was when I was playing Leon's campaign. Oh, so that's, that was Ada doing that. Um, like, just like in Resident Evil 4, like, after you beat Resident Evil 4, you, you get to play Ada's part where you, where you get to see, you know, her involvement throughout the end, like, you realize, actually, she's been helping you or by your side the entire time, you just never knew it. Same thing with Resident Evil 6, you kind of see how she's helping everybody behind the scenes, and, and you, and sometimes you, 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 you can figure it out, other times, like, oh, so that was her. 
But um, I, I like that. Uh, I like that idea. Um, but like I said before, it just like overall, I felt like they they had they, they tried to do a good thing with her, but they were trying to put her behind the scenes of campaigns that just weren't very good. I didn't. I really did not enjoy Chris's campaign, and Jake was okay. Leon only like the first half, and like I said, and Ada tried. They, they and Ada, like I said before, they they tried to have that one just to kind of like you know. Um, show how everything happened, but even then, it just wasn't the same. Um, um, but yeah, just in, just in general, and also, and also, and not, not even just Leon's campaign, but even uh, Jake's campaign. Like they, you know, they kept recycling the Usanak over and over again. I wanted a different boss, and they just kept recycling things. Um, and, and when you find out, when you play Ada's campaign, I was kind of upset, though, because when you find out, you find out basically that the Simmons, the whole thing of Resident Evil 6 happened just because Simmons couldn't get Ada. And it's kind of like, so you've been telling me the whole thing was based off a of love connection or a love triangle? It's like, really? Um, so I, I felt like the backbone of the, of the, of the, uh, of the story was kind of stupid. Um... But yeah, just in general, it just, it just, it lost, it, it, it like, Resident Evil 5 lost the atmosphere, Resident Evil 6 lost everything else. It lost atmosphere, it lost gameplay, it tried to shower you with quick time events, oh my gosh, and I can go on about that, but yeah, it, it tried to shower you with quick time events, um, it tried to be different types of games, and it just, and, and without the atmosphere to support it, it just, it's not fun. Um, the, uh, I've heard some people complain about the cover system, um, especially like in Chris's parts, um, I don't know. It just and and, and there were some ridiculous parts. Like right? it, it felt more like a Michael Bay type thing. Just a bunch of explosions and and just a bunch of this and that. It it, it, it lost. It, it got lazy. Um, this, it just got really lazy. And I felt like and that's my ultimate verdict. I felt like Resident Evil Four was really probably the height of the series. I've never played the previous ones, but I, like I said, I've heard from every. I want to, but I've heard from everybody um, that Resident Evil Four was the best one. Resident Evil 5, to me, it had everything right. It just lost the atmosphere. Um, um, it tried. It tried to have a dark tone to it, but it just it didn't work with 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 the with the atmospheric setting. Resident Evil 6 lost everything else. The only thing that it really improved on was it had a lot of. It was a lot of. The game was long, um, and it uh, it had great controls. In my opinion, it had, it had good controls. Um, I mean, and you could, and you get to see how characters intersect. Like certain characters will meet up with other characters. Like that, that makes sure that's cool. But even still, like I said, for like it, besides like little stuff like that, um, like it, the game itself was just not as well done, um, and it really upsets me. And I just really want to talk about you know um, the future of uh, ooh, I almost fell <laughs> the future of Resident Evil and what I expect. Now I know they say like Capcom is saying that they're going to return to the roots in the next uh, Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 7. I know Resident Evil Revelations, uh, which takes place between 4 and 5, uh, I heard that game got good reviews. I actually want to pick that up and play it. Um, I hope hopefully it's like $30. I hope it's not too much because I'm not paying more than that for it. Um, but yeah, I want to play that one. But like I've heard if, like, Capcom say that they want to go back to its roots um, and, and Resident Evil 7, I really hope they do, um, now I had, there was a video by Review Tech, talking about Capcom, and apparently Capcom was in a meeting, they, and they, something, uh, they said, like, they're gonna try to cater to the young and hip, um, genre, because of people who, like, Resident Evil are now older, um, you know, the old style Resident Evil, but I think that's kind of stupid, I feel like, so many franchises have went down because they, they try to cater to the young and retarded hip crowd. Um, you know, just a bunch of explosions and and D and D DLC out the ass and just it just it's not no no they need to like Prince of Persia fell to the same thing because they tried to cater to the wider audience you know and they tried to put in a bunch of gothic and heavy metal stuff into Prince of Persia. And no, I actually like uh, the second Prince of Persia a lot. And I know I'm getting off topic, but I'm trying to make a point. I like that game a lot. Yeah, people, but I understand that it it was completely different from the first game because they tried to they tried to they kept changing the game up because they were trying to cater to everybody. Now there's nothing wrong with making the game better and improving on it, 
But when you sacrifice, when you sacrifice what may it's but if you have a if you have a, a game, and it does great, because it appeals to a certain genre, and you try to appeal to more people, make you have to keep the same core formula there. It still has to be Resident Evil. It has to be a, a creepy survival type thing. You can you can add in action bits. You can add in. You know, cool. You know, cool fight scenes, but it has to still be Resident Evil, which is what Resident Evil Four did. Um, it, it, you know, it did a lot of cool things, but it was still Resident Evil. Um, and that's and I felt like a lot of franchise names Resident Evil, but a lot of franchises have tried to change their ways completely in order to cater to other people or to try to rack in money and sales, and they and they, and they end up losing in the, in, in the long run. And I felt like. And I feel like that's the main problem with Resident Evil. It's trying to be something that it doesn't need to be. It needs to just be Resident Evil. Now that doesn't mean that it, that doesn't mean it can. It's all. It always has to be that same. The same game every year. No, 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 no. It can be bigger. It can be more epic. There's nothing wrong with that. But it has to still be Resident Evil. It has to still have that atmosphere. And I and I feel like that is what I expect from Resident Evil Seven. I expect you know a greater atmosphere. Um, um, I, I expect it to be be Resident Evil, um, but yeah, that's just all. I just want to say, I you know, it's just it just it really saddens me that you know a lot of people are like yeah, Capcom going down the dirt. I understand that they've made a lot of shitty business decisions, but it saddens me because there have been so many good games in the past that have come from Capcom. You know, Capcom holds that right to a lot of great franchises, and it just it hurts me to see them kind of go down the shit. You know. Um, but yeah, that's all I want to say. Let let me know what you guys think. I mean, did you guys enjoy the Re the Resident Evil games? Um, what did you think about four, five, and six? How do you think they compare to one another? Um, what do you expect from Resident Evil Seven? Do you want a Resident Evil Seven? Um, you know, just let me know. What do you think Capcom should do? Because I know Capcom is really struggling right now. They are all they only have so much money in the bank. Um, so who knows? We may not have a Capcom in the future. In the, in the next year or so, so you know, you know they better do something quick. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys later. Current six is nine three out. Peace.